Okay, Herbert, thanks for uh, thanks for sending me your your golf swing in, mate. We're gonna uh, we're gonna start off with a quick. Um, we're going to start off with a quick, uh, quick analysis. Uh, just talk about what's going on a little bit, so you can, so we're both kind of singing off the, off the same hymn sheet, if you like. Um, so setup-wise, you know what I'm, what I notice in your setup, you, you're, you're very 50-50 with your lower body. Okay, I'd like to see you a little bit more into this leg, and we'll talk about this a little bit more um, in a minute. Uh, as you're doing this, you know, with the shaft angle, I like to see the shaft angle leaning forward, just a, just a smidgen, okay? So as you lean it forward, the club face is going to point just very slightly out to the right, okay? So if you lean it forward, instead of having the club face pointing here, you know, you can have the club face pointing out here, which is all kind of, which is all conducive with the shot that we want to play, okay, which is a draw. Okay, if we set it off here, it's then going to draw back onto the target. Right. So all these things that I'm going to ask you to do um, are all based around uh, hitting a draw shot. Okay, now if we if we watch your golf swing, you know, it's very kind of over the top. You can see as the shaft comes down into impact down this way, the club's actually coming that way through the ball, right? So it's coming out to in, right? And I can tell that just by this shaft angle here, it's very kind of steep, right? So we want to get you out of coming across the ball and chopping across it this way. So you're going to hit two shots, you're going to hit a straight left one, and you're going to hit one with an open face, which starts about here, which ends up over this way, right? So you're going to hit a pull, you're going to hit a fade, you're going to hit a slice. So if we look at, um, you know, we just look at your swing and going through, you know, what I'm noticing as you as you as you're moving for such a big fella, right? We need to get your body working a little bit better. Okay, your your body isn't as active. As what it should be. All right. Now you, you sent me your, e your little email. You said you're six foot seven, so you're a, you're a big guy. I want to use that to your advantage. I want to use that by 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 working your body better, right? Um, so we can get some more power uh, into the ball, and we can attack the ball from the inside instead of your club coming across the ball this way. All right. So I mean, what do I mean by working your body better? All right. So you know, as you go back, first thing I notice in your backswing is there's very, very little turn, right? So very little shoulder turn, very little hip turn, right? Your, your, yes, your, your right hip is higher than your left hip, but there's very little turn going on, right? At the top of your swing here, you still look as though it's kind of 50 50 in your legs. And because you're not turning your body, then what's happening is as you're going back, right, that your your hands and therefore the club are just going up too high, right? Too steep, right? Kind of coming up, kind of coming up this way, instead of understanding that your hands have to come on the inside. I want you to bring your hands back inside of your toe line. Alright? So so that's that's the primary reason why you're struggling with the direction right you're coming down over the top that way look if you look at if you look at the shaft coming down there it's very steep now and then you just come across it right you have to kind of stand up to get out of the way a little bit right so so i want to focus first lesson i want to focus on getting your body uh, in a better setup position and also then uh turning a little bit better all right so um, I just want to make a quick note about uh, your setup, right? And it just looks, it just looks to me as though you've got a little bit too much weight on the heels, right? So, so I want just as much weight, right, on your heels as you have on the balls of your feet, right? But also your toes here. I also want you to feel as though your toes are digging into the ground as well, almost like you're turning your um, you're turning your toes into fingers and you're really grabbing the ground a little bit more. 
all right um, and then in the setup or well, well let me let me pull up an example because uh, uh, got some great examples to show you this is a guy named Troy Matterson right uh, plays on the PGA Tour very good player um, he was first in he's, I think he's won twice on the PGA Tour he was first in uh, greens in regulation uh, in 2010 uh, which means he's very very accurate okay um, and he hits a little draw as he stop shot so you can see straight away with regards to uh, let me zoom in a little bit you can see straight away that what I mean by setting up a little bit more on his left side right so this leg here I just want you to feel as though you've got a little bit more weight into that front leg so how do we do it well you know from your setup position there I want you to keep your head in the same position right so I want you to keep your head in the same position but I just want you to bump your hips forward an inch right and I want you to bump your hands forward an inch that's all right that's all we're trying to do but big thing if you bump your hips forward an inch right that's going to get you a little bit more on your on your left side now this is what I mean by turning all right now I need you to feel as though your hands are moving more inwards round here right whereas you're feeling as though your hands are going back straight over your toes right they don't go back straight over your toes I want you to feel as though the top of your club here is almost brushing your right thigh okay it's very important okay and then as you're doing that you can see how all of this kind of area so your shoulders your arms the club all that is just being moved away in one movement okay now the club is going to hinge right the club is going to cock in your hands the more that your right arm folds right so the more your right arm folds the more that this club is going to cock all right so so that's how i want to and, and if you look at if you look at just how much he's turned right by maybe that position if we stop you in p p3 position three which is your left arm parallel with the ground look how much he's turned already look how much he's got his shoulders are turned look how much his hips are turned all right he's gradually pushing more pressure into this front leg in a counterbalancing action but if you look at if you look at what you're doing there you can see compared to this image on the right your hips are very static and therefore if your hips are very static your upper body can't turn all right also pay attention to what this right leg's done all right if we put a little line here outside of your right leg all right his this guy troy matterson his right leg straightens right and i want you to start straightening this right leg up that's going to allow your right hip to start turning behind you whereas your your right knee is just very flex look okay so this right knee is a big issue i want you to start straining it off so that your right hip can start turning back behind you okay and that that will then take care of your lower body um, and as you're sitting into your left leg this right hip is going to be moving back behind you a little bit more all right Another way to um, think about it, right, would be if uh, we look at the behind view. So um, if we zoom in on your swing here, right, and we put a little line where your tailbone is, right, put another little line up just outside of your right leg, right. And then we look at same guy, right? Troy Matterson, right? But I want you to pay attention to his tailbone, which is where that little little line is. But also watch his right leg and his right hip here. Watch it move away from that right from that line, right? That's what I want you to feel on your backswing. So this right leg is straightened up, 
tailbone has moved towards the target this way right but then as we as we watch yours as you can see yeah your tailbone kind of moves a little bit towards the target but you can see how how your lower body and this right leg being flexed is kind of inhibiting you making making that full turn and, and extending all right so that that that's that's what i want you to practice the most you know i want you to practice if we can take care of this part of your swing the lower body part of your swing right by understanding what we want to do we want to start with a bit more weight in this front leg okay so you're starting with a little bit more weight here and then as you start moving I want you to gradually start putting more weight into that front leg, really feeling build up a pressure in your in your left thigh, okay, and allow your right leg to straighten. So you can see what happens with his right hip moving back behind him, tailbones moving more towards the target. And if you allow your lower body to move more like that, look how look how free his upper body is to turn. You see? That's the kind of action I want to see you. Uh, with her, but next in your in your next lesson, all right. So, so tailbone has to move towards the target this way. Start with a bit more weight in your left leg, okay, and then you really feel. I mean, look at look at the difference here compared to this line, all right. I want your right leg in this position, right. So you can see how your right hip. Your right hip is going to feel like it's coming right back round behind you this way. And overdo it as well. When you're making a change, please, please overdo it. Okay. Uh, next little thing I want to teach you is um, where your hands have got to go in the takeaway. All right. So you can if we put a line, uh, put a line over your toes. Right. And this is another guy on PJ Tour guy named Charlie Wee. He's got a great golf swing. Um, and we've got a line over your toes. As you start moving back, right, you can see how your hands and your left arm kind of come back over that line, right? Kind of coming back over your toe line this way. Right? But you watch you watch this guy's hands as he starts moving. Look at the difference in where his hands are going. Okay, so from this position, his hands are moving inwards, right? Not straight back over your toe line. Very important to understand that. There. Okay. And then that combined with your right leg straightening and this right hip moving back behind you, your tailbone moving towards the target, will then allow you to kind of get a big big turn by the time you get to the top of your swing which you're just not getting okay so all these little tips all these little things which i'm asking you to do are all gonna play a big big role in coming down and attacking the ball more from the inside okay so you can see as you come down that way compared to where he's coming down this way you can see the angle in the club, right? Yours is very, very stiff. Okay, so obviously from this angle, he's going to be able to come and attack the ball from the inside. Okay, you're coming down, and your club is actually coming this side of the line and going like that through impact. Okay, so we need to get your hands moving a lot more this way on your takeaway. Okay, so those few little things, mate, thinking about the hips, getting your right hip moving behind you, pulling your hands inside to start the move, all right, as well as, uh, as, well as starting with a little bit more weight on your left side. Okay, so let's pull up uh, Mattison again so you can see the difference there. So I want more weight on your left side, shaft leaning forward more, okay. And then allow your right leg to straighten, allow you allow sitting into your front leg, okay? And I want you to feel a much bigger hip turn and a much bigger 
upper body term. Okay, whereas at the moment yours is just too, just too static there. Right, very little hip turn, therefore very little upper body turn. Okay, mate. Um, please practice this uh, with short little swings first. So maybe, um, you know, it all it all starts with changing the movement pattern. So do it with do it without a ball. Do you know practice these movements without hitting any shots, and then. And then just do some little shots, maybe get into there, you know, where, you, where your hands are any kind of chest height. But you can see when you do it properly and you turn your hips properly, just how much shoulder turn he's got already. Right, and that's only a half swing. It's full swing gets all the way up to there. All right, bud. So all these things are going to contribute to you coming more from the inside and attacking the ball from the inside. And if you can, if you can. Show me a swing, you know, send me a swing next week or, or the week after, after you put a lot of practice in with these sorts of moves, then we can really start to build, uh, build you a better golf swing. All right, Herbert, good stuff, mate. Um, and I look forward to your next video.